see, wherever I go, stay ready, stay alert, I'm always prepared for whatever, I see me, there's a seat right here, I can see from all length, I'm ready, it's time to get down to business, Hi, honey. I know you just made it to the library, but love of my life, my hero, my lion, you forgot your A-game. So come home, take it, and then you can go and conquer the world, black man. Oh, and one more thing. Would it kill you to just wear some socks? I'm just saying. Love you. And can you bring home some milk? Okay. Okay, I'll go back. I'm gonna get my head back. I'm not putting socks on. I'm good. I'm fly. I'm fresh. I'm gonna stop at 7 Eleven to get some milk. Hey all my Crimsonites and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel where we embrace our femininity, increase our womanly values, and celebrate our brothers. So join me on our feminine journey to learn, heal, and grow. Hey there my Crimsonites and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I am your host, femininity coach and author of the Crimson Cure and this is my perspective. So today we are talking about a little something different. We are talking about why black women come to the Crimson Cure channel. And what made me want to do this, almost sort of a PSA, but I need you to stick with me and I need you to listen. What made me kind of do this video is I want to, I want to address something that I'm starting to see. I'm starting to see uh, a lot more comments in the comment section, in the chat rooms where people are coming in shooting their shots. Uh, guys are coming in shooting a shot at the ladies that come to my channel that frequent into the chat rooms. Now, whether anybody want to call me a pick me, I pander to black men, I do this, do that, whatever you want to say about me. I take my platform, whether it is my channel or my upcoming book, my counseling sessions, I take all of this stuff very seriously. I take the women who come to the Crimson Cure channel seriously, even the ones that hate watch, even the ones that make it a point to get into the comment section and try to argue, they're here for a reason also. And I can't help but they but think that they're coming back because it is something that they're getting out of it that's not completely negative, even if they never say that. But the women who come to my channel, I feel very protective over those women because many of them, the vast majority of them, are coming because they have not heard a lot of the stuff that I'm saying on my channel. They have not heard it before. And if they've heard it before, they have not heard it in the manner in which I am delivering it. A lot of the women who come here are unlearning a lot of foolishness, a lot of gynocratic thinking and teaching that many times they didn't even realize was as much of a problem as it really is in their lives. Some of them are coming in and they are recovering from bad relationships. They are recovering from other forms of trauma and they are coming because whether the message is easy for them to digest or difficult for them to digest, they are coming to digest it nevertheless. And many of them are not in a position in their lives to accept 
a shot being shot at them or for someone to come into the chat room or approach them in a romantic way. Now, when I say that, I'm not saying that me, is there something wrong with the men or that the men are having bad intentions. It's not what I'm saying. Men like to shoot their shot because men like to shoot their shot. At the same time, we have to keep in mind what we're here for. We're here to learn. A lot of these women have daughters that they're trying to listen to. A lot of men who come to me have daughters that they want to hear this because they know that their daughters are not likely to hear this type of thing be said to them if from any woman that's actually in their physical presence or in their sphere of influence. So they want their daughters to come and actually listen to me, whether they are teenage daughters, grown daughters, or what have you. Some men are married and they want their wives to listen. There are, what I'm trying to say is, there are a lot of people who come to my platform for various reasons, all personal. I don't get into everybody's personal business unless you want me to counsel you. Other than that, I don't make it a point to be asking folk what their personal thing is and why they here. I'm just glad that someone is coming and if they can get something positive out of the interaction, I'm happy for that. We come here to learn. We come here to learn about the 10 life values. We come here to learn about these life-saving tools that anybody can use to start having success in our lives, to start understanding where we're running into problems in our lives and start correcting them problems so that we can have a better life overall. Whether that be in our personal lives, marriages, romances, work, children, family, whatever the case may be. And it is a distraction. So a lot of these is becoming a little bit of a distraction in the chat room where we got folks trying to figure out is folks single and man, your, your avatar cute. Listen, grown people are going to do what grown people are going to do. At the same time, I actually would appreciate if that was kind of taken off site. Right. Because if you get hooked up in the crimsonite chat and it don't work out i don't need nobody coming to me and it and it's negative well we met over here listen i don't control these people i love them i love my crimsonites i have much respect for the people that come here I have love for the people that come here. I have a genuine concern and care for the people that come here. Whether you in the clouds, whether you participate in the chat room, whether you leave comments, all of that stuff is well appreciated. For those who reach out to me personally, I have a personal stake with you. But we cannot allow the distractions to go on because that's not what this platform is for. It's not a dating site. I'm not running a dating site. Okay. This is not a dating coach channel. There are other channels that specifically designed for you to go and try to meet somebody. But my platform isn't designed to hook people up. Now, if something beautiful happens, then all praises are due. I'm not trying to say that it's not possible for some beautiful romance to bloom and just so happen to be crimsonites. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not saying that. But what I am trying to say is I am very protective, not only over the women, but I am protective over the brothers that come here. A lot of brothers are wounded. A lot of brothers are scarred. They're traumatized from dealing with a lot of these different issues that no one spoke on, that no one seems to be able to see 
from their perspectives. So they're coming in and they may have damages of their own. Okay. I understand how we react and how we move as a people because my channel is what it is and what it, it supports the things that it supports. There might be a misconception or an assumption that everybody that convenes on my channel are all operating at the same level. And that's not me saying somebody's bad or worse or better or anything like that. It's just that people are coming in their own conditions, in their own place in life, wherever that may be. And I'm not here to judge it, right? But what we have to understand is that everybody's not operating on the same level. So if you're a woman that's coming here and the men who are in the chat, you can't assume that these men have they whole stuff together with the 10 life values. Can't assume that because he might not. He might be struggling with one or more of those things. And that's not to say he's a bad person, but it is to say he might be ill equipped to actually deal in a functional relationship because maybe, maybe that's part of his trauma. Maybe he ain't had a functional relationship. That's the same thing with the women. Just because brother, you see a woman in the chat room, that means she's rocking with what's going on, but she might not be fully there yet. She got work to do with the 10 life values. She got work to do with the valuable woman series. And we don't know what stage we all are in, in this journey that takes a, a minute for some of us to get. Some of us are in better positions in our lives. Some of us are not. And I need that to be very clear. We can't make assumptions about the status of anyone just because they're here. I'm glad that you're here. And that says something very good about the brothers and the sisters that come here, which is why I have such a, a stake in it. This is why I have such an investment in everybody that comes through. My regulars, my cloud listeners, even my hate watchers. I got an investment in you too. Because I'm hoping at some point for as many times as you call me a pick me, you might actually hear something that, that, that turns or something that we can come to agreement upon because I'm not here to make enemies. I'm here to help my brothers and sisters do or start their healing work. That's what I'm trying to say. We don't know where we are in that healing process. Everybody's in a different space. A lot of the people who come here are married or are in committed relationships, right? So I promote the people who are doing the work, do the work according to the 10 life values, do the work according to these tools that I'm giving you for really for free. so that you can begin that journey of work for yourself. And again, if something beautiful transpires, then that, that's wonderful, like I'm all for that. But we have to be careful not to sidetrack ourselves, right? And coming in just to see who I can scoop up because that's not what this is for. And my moderators, are well aware. So to my mods, I need you guys on the lookout. Anybody that if it's not disruptive, we don't have to like get rid of people. But if we notice a trend, a pattern, some people coming in, just shooting a shot, not listening to what's going on on the channel, because I'm assuming you coming in to talk about the topic we're talking about. But if that's not what's happening in the chat room, whether we consider you a troll or whether my minds consider you just disruptive because there's a, maybe some harassment going on or, you know what I'm saying, you just trying to talk to every woman in the chat that you think Avatar look cute. 
um, my moderators know what to do because we're going to keep steady. We're going to keep focused on the point of this platform and the point of this work that's being done. Okay. So I just wanted to, you know, bring that to everyone's attention and just remind ourselves of why we're really here. Okay. So I love all of my Crimsonites. Go ahead and sound off in the comment section. I want to hear all about it, what you think. I want to hear your thoughts. I genuinely do. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you have not. And once again, I'm your host of Crimson Cure, and this was my perspective. Bye-bye, Crimsonites. Hey, guys. Please like, share, and and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. And if you've got more to say on the topic, leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to support our sponsor who so graciously supports this channel by clicking the description box and the link for A-Game at agameherbal.com. You can go ahead and get a 10% discount off of your next purchase using the code Kendra10. This has been yet another Crimson Cure production, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.